Greetings citizens of the world, this is a message from Anonymous, for Duke One. The past several months have been bad for crypto and the economy as a whole. We were likely going to experience some pain in the crypto industry because of the macro environment regardless of what was happening internally. We were also due for another bear market this year, but the actions of Duke Juan, the founder of the Terra Luna ecosystem, is single-handedly responsible for scamming billions of dollars away from retail investors. Duke Juan made a name for himself with his arrogant tactics, trolling competitors, critics, and acting like he would never fail. In fact, he said that he found it entertaining to watch other projects fail. I wonder how many of uh, these companies you think are entering the space just because it's hot and there's a lot of funding versus the ones that will s still be here, you know, like two to five years later. 95% oh, <laughs> are going to die. Yeah. 95% are going to die. Yeah. Uh, but uh, yeah, there's also entertainment in watching companies die too. There's entertainment. Oh man, that's, that's, that's so <laughs> evil. At least you get to learn from it, right? On one occasion, he called a journalist poor for asking him difficult questions. However, he was quickly knocked down by the markets. The louder they are, the harder they tend to fall. News has now come to light that he was cashing out over $80 million each month as Luna was successful. Duke Juan denied these accusations in a roundabout way, but not exactly. In a recent Twitter post, Duke Juan denied cashing out $2.7 billion, but that doesn't account for the $80 million each month that he was apparently taking. He claims that he lost most of his money along with everyone else in the market, and that he was also all in on Luna. The information that he was taking millions from the protocol each month comes from testimony of Terra Labs employees during interviews with the SEC. As a result, Duke Juan is being investigated for money laundering, in addition to the other accusations against him of malice and fraud. Sometimes people just make mistakes, and sometimes businesses fail, but there is significant evidence that Duke Juan had bad intentions from the start. It's a cycle of life. You begin from nothing and go back to nothing. And that's exactly where I want to be. So I think Terra is going to be the decentralized money standard across the entire blockchain, across all the blockchains. And I'm excited for Terraform Labs to contribute a significant portion of that early vision, but eventually to go back to nothing. Before launching Terra Luna, Duke Juan worked for another failed stablecoin called Basis Cash. That project failed due to regulatory concerns and investors lost money, but he was never held accountable because he was working under the anonymous name Rick Sanchez, taken from the popular cartoon Rick and Morty. It is obvious to us that Duke Juan has plenty of secrets and he has been very sloppy in his execution. Multiple governments are conducting their own investigations into the scammer, but so are we. Anonymous is looking into Duke Juan's entire history since he entered the crypto space, to see what we can learn and bring to light. There is no doubt that there are many more crimes to be discovered in your trail of destruction. Duke Juan, if you are listening. Sadly, there is nothing that can be done to reverse the damage that you have done. At this point, the only thing that we can do is hold you accountable and make sure that you are brought to justice as soon as possible. We are anonymous. We are legion. Expect us.